This video might be one of the best Fortnite speedruns on all of YouTube, and by the end of this video, you'll see why. From absolutely decimating lobbies with over 50 elims to getting crazy endgame clutches and even going on one of my longest win streaks ever, this is one of my best speedruns, and we did this all in just one day. But it wasn't easy, it was a grind, and it all started here when we dropped into our entire squad's placement game, where, of course, we went Tilted Tower. Now, with Ranked Reload being brand new, we had no idea how sweaty these early lobbies would be, so this game, we just W keyed everybody. And with this being my first speedrun on low ping since I moved, I was in heaven with how my game fell. I mean, just watch this. Ain't that big. Wait, you guys have flashes? Oh, okay, yeah. Hunter? 20 speed? There's no way this guy sits on the app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, here, here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Lord. We have 30 kills with 28 of them. I'm above the car, above the car. So, why does that hit for 25? And our placement game ended with a 55 elim win. That's more players than the game even starts with, meaning we basically took out every single squad in the lobby, and some of them even twice. That was a good enough game to take me from unranked up to... Silver 3. With that many elims, I was hoping to get at least gold, but we learned that the placement is actually more about how many reload tournaments you play. Because my teammate who's played all of them got placed two ranks higher than I did, even though I got more elims, because I've played no reload tournaments. Regardless of that, the first game was a huge morale booster and gave us all the confidence we needed to drop right back into Tilted Towers once again for game 2. And because ranked reload is so new, these weren't exactly your typical silver and gold players because just like us other good players are still working their way up the ranks but these definitely weren't champion or unreal level players either because we could still w key everybody and run through these lobbies it was actually super fun everyone was the perfect skill level to be a somewhat challenging fight but no squad was good enough to wipe us i mean with 50 elims heading into end game these players stood no chance Fifty-one white on the guy that's out. I don't have any ammo. Got this. Where is this kid? That's alright. I know you heard him too. I did. That's why I was looking. Sixteen white on that guy. Dead party. This guy's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that puts us with back-to-back -back 50 bomb wins, which progresses me from low silver 3 up to gold 1 for a total gain of 117%. Now these games are always the most satisfying because not only can you drop a crazy amount of elims, but you go up an entire rank for just one game. Which you really start to miss once you hit those higher ranks because wins that are way harder start to feel like you gain nothing. So we have to enjoy it while we're here, and our squad definitely was. Now, Speaking of our squad, let me introduce you. We have Dalty Walty, an FNCS grand finalist with thousands of dollars in earnings on controller. But in this speedrun, he's actually playing on keyboard, where he's still very good. Next, there's SR3, who's been a ranked in Arena Grinder for years, who's also recently switched to keyboard and mouse. Then we have JCM, who's a competitive player and a YouTuber with almost 100,000 subscribers. And then there's me, who's just a YouTuber trying to get better at Fortnite. So the squad is now dropping back into 
Kinda tilted for the third time in a row, and we knew as we climbed higher, these lobbies would start to get harder. But at this point, we still knew that we could take anyone in this lobby. So once again, we were W King with no fear, looking to drop our third 50 bomb in a row. Oh, rest, rest. oh my god, hold on. I gotta go back. Nah, he was rising, he was rising, he was rising. Oh, he's dead. 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 Oh, he's <laughs> and with that snipe, I close out our third win in a row. Unfortunately, not quite reaching that 50 bomb mark. But after you get like 25 elims, getting more than that doesn't even rank you up any extra. So at this point, we're just dropping these huge elim games for fun and still ranking up the maximum amount possible. Here, from being gold one up 120% to the top of gold two. So three games played, three ranks of progress, and the best part is that these games are way faster than normal battle royale games. It's only taking about 15 minutes to win these games, while normal battle royale games can take 20, sometimes even 25 minutes to finish. But here less than an hour in, and we're already dropping back into Tilted, going for our fourth high elim win in a row, just waiting to see a team that can actually give us a challenge. Full yeah. Gold auto here. Nah, after that. Oh my god! On the top of the chop, top of chop. Oh wait, how do you get it out? Still in it? Grapple on me. I'm not even trolling. Dalty dead just stole that. I make him out. I will definitely. Oh my god, do you guys see this? Oh my! Thank you for the loot, bro. Whoa! Oh, that's, that's how last game was for me. Yeah, sick, bro. What are you about? I appreciate the tear. Oh, he really doesn't appreciate that. He's on. I appreciate you. Let him at him. And there it is, four wins in a row, all dropping at Tilted Towers, and once again, a near 50 bomb. I thought gold rank would for sure be harder than this, but progressing another 115% into the top of gold three proved that we really haven't been challenged yet. I mean, we have a combined 200 elims in just four games in just one hour. We have never seen something like this in a ranked mode, and we're not even close to being done yet, because we queue right back up and drop right back into game five. Which, of course, is back at Tilted Towers. I mean, we're just gonna keep doing this until we lose, because at this point, there's been no reason to try a different drop spot. But pay attention to the players this game, because as Dalty has climbed to Platinum 2 already, you can really see the skill of these players start to increase. Which means our squad has to start playing together more and really locking in, which is exactly what our game plan was. Whole team on me. Dalty's surrounded. Carter's surrounded. He might be able to help Carter. I got him. Two dead. Carter, I'm going to help Carter. Three dead. Carter, no, there's one left. On me, help, please. No. Nice. 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 Edit it, edit it! 94 cracked! I was just gonna lie. Full box! Dead. Oh, this guy's. Oh. Alright. That was weird. 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 No, no way, bro. Oh, thank God. Terrified currently. 
It's so easy to use this gun on keyboard, dude. Says what? It's so easy to use the combo on keyboard. No mask, my brother like me. One HP. Oh my god! And the game plan worked, not only dropping a win against a decent lobby, but dropping our highest elims yet at 56. I mean, that is crazy, and it was enough to progress me not only the 8% that I needed to reach platinum rank, but another 89% on top of that to put me in nearly platinum too. Now, so far, I'm cooking in this speedrun. Usually, whenever I play with teammates, people complain that I just get carried, which is sometimes true. But part of that was also because I was on 4 40 to 60 ping while my teammates were on zero and could take every wall. However, I moved states just two weeks ago and now get way lower ping and I even upgraded to a 240 hertz monitor. So now with those changes alone, my game feels so good and hopefully improving that I can actually keep up with these guys even as these lobbies continue to get harder like in this game. Wait, finish this game so I can finish my game here. Well, push on the game, yeah. Nah, no, there's still eight teams up. It's just everyone has to see their spawn. Why is that crazy? That's all you guys say. I'm like, you go like this. That's all you. That's all you. No, it isn't. What do you mean, no, it isn't? How'd you die? That insulted, but no one listened to me. No, I listened, bro. Crying, bro. I see two of you back there. We got the lobby. Carter, where you at, bro? I'm just wondering. I just got hedged. Right here. In the air. And do I even have to say our sixth win in a row with guess how many elims? 52, taking me from Platinum 1 into Platinum 2 and soaring towards Platinum 3. But compared to even our gold rank games, you can start to see the slowdown in progress, which at this point is only going to get worse and worse and worse. However, that's the only thing standing between me and my goal of being one of the first people to hit Unreal in Ranked Reload. So, job's not finished. Not even close. Dropping into now our seventh game landing Tilted Towers, you have to be thinking, at what point are they gonna get stopped? Well, spoiler alert, it's not this game because this is the fastest Fortnite win I have ever been a part of. I mean, just watch when we finish this game. <laughs> No way this is a different team. Yeah, oh, please. They're so bad, bro. Right? Oh, yeah. That is only 29 elims, but we won the game over a minute and a half before reboots even got disabled. I mean, look how big this zone still was. From the time we dropped out of the bus to getting the final elim for the win, it took us less than nine minutes. Even with sitting in the pregame lobby and checking our ranks after the game, the entire replay is less than 10 minutes, which is crazy. That's the fastest Fortnite match I've ever seen, and in just those nine minutes, I went from Platinum 2 up 70 percent to halfway through platinum three that was nine minutes well spent and it gave us our seventh win in a row all dropping at tilted towers by the way which we went right back to but now dalty and sr3 have made it into diamond rank which means this is the hardest lobby we've been in yet and this was the first time where landing tilted seemed like a mistake at some point both me and dalty went down and then sr3 went down as well leaving tilted conquered by another team and forcing us to basically restart our entire game now frantically searching the outskirts for whatever loadout we could get our hands on and it wasn't great taking l after l i just couldn't catch a break until i was able to land on a full refresh and now after a hectic early game we settled in and tried to close this one out oh this is a decent team oh, I, wall. Oh, my. Okay. 60 blade. 60 blade. I don't know where he wants 
But when this guy turned on me to take me down, I came back for the last time because reboots had just been disabled and I have nothing. So now we have to figure out how we're going to pull this one off. He's weak. You can rest, dude. You can rest. Bro, I get one pumped again. I'm getting maxed every single time. And to top off my luck this game, the Air Force chicken finishes me while I'm getting triple revive. I mean, at this point, I'll gladly watch my teammates clutch this one up because I just couldn't stay alive this game. But that's why you play with other good players because they were pretty easily able to close this one out for now our eighth win in a row. This win streak is getting crazy and I have now officially made it from silver all the way to diamond rank without losing a single game and you know what that means right back into tilted we go but we really should have took the hint from last game because once again it was not looking good for us basically the same thing happened where we went down and had to completely reloot for our loadouts while another team conquered tilted so when we finally did get our loadouts we did what any smart team would do and pushed back into tilted again Oh my god, no! I said there, you gotta stay alive for a little bit. For 15 seconds. I just got one pump. I get down here. Yo, this kid's new! Wait, I'm rushing. Dead on two. Crack 90 on the floor. I'll get together. Okay, I'm following. How, how does my wall not place? What's not making him? This guy's Please? so long. Yeah, I didn't know those kids got together so quick. One, one shot on one of them? Dead. 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 One right here. He's one. Dead. Somehow, even while our team was playing Reboot Simulator for most of this match, we were able to lock in once Reboots got disabled and put us in a 3v1, where I of course pulled out the endgame free builds to show that this was a free win. A 30 bomb win there takes me from Diamond 1 up to just higher in diamond one we are now past the times of getting a whole hundred percent for just one win but i can't be mad at a 43 percent gain either especially because we're getting ready to close in on these final ranks where the grind really starts now with a 10 win streak on the line we were just too stubborn even with back-to-back -back games of landing tilted and only narrowly escaping we got greedy and went back again and i bet you can guess what happened I'm going, bro. I'm bugging. I'm bugging. That's so sorry. That's so sorry. No, I chilled. I chilled. I chilled. I chilled hard. I chilled hard. I'm dead, by the way. No, I chilled. I missed. I missed all my SMG shots when I should have hit. Oh, so it's not my fault. I need to back up. Yo, Oklahoma, bro. 86 white on one. So even though I was doing pretty well for myself, the rest of the team was struggling and left me in an unwinnable situation, leaving us once again to have to loot the remaining shambles loot and try to make it out of here with a win. There's a whole team in front of you, Dalty. All, all birds. No left. way there's two of them there. Oh my god, I got him. Guys, I need there's help. Guys, guys. Need. guys. 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 Guys, please. Guys, please. Guys, please. I'm trying to get to you. I'm trying. I'm trying. Guys, please. Dolty, I'm bringing him to you. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we need that. Guys, guys, guys. I'm better than red now. Makes sense. Oh, there's a 
Oh my god, I gotta get out. It is. It's the same team. Bro, why would my shotgun not reload? And that mistake pretty much sealed our fate. My shotgun had no ammo in it, and I went down, leaving SR3 in a basically impossible scenario. So, for the first time in 10 games since we started this speedrun, we don't win. Despite this, we still have 30 elims in fourth place in an early diamond lobby, so it actually wasn't even a big deal. I still gained nearly 50% and progressed into diamond two, but the win streak was officially over, and that meant it was time to change up our drop spot. So now, landing a squad split over by lazy laps, we had no fear of losing off spawn or playing the reboot simulator all of early game. We were simply able to get all the loot we needed and push whatever team we wanted, which was way more enjoyable. I mean, just watch how much easier this game looked. Okay, good. Where are you? Who's this? 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 I don't even know where he's at. He's the fucking <laughs> I trolled a little at the end, but I knew Dalty had this mythic burst, and in a 1v1 situation, there was literally no way he was losing this fight. Which gets us right back into the win column, with still over 40 elims even while landing on the edge of the map. And that actually gave us a good amount of progress for being up here in Diamond 2. Over 50% for a win, and now that we've learned you can still drop a high elim game, even while landing somewhere random, we were pretty happy with our new drop spot. Everyone and got the loot that we needed and that let us push together as a team which as we're now in the top of diamond is a key factor to winning games and this is exactly why now nah, what are like can we actually like what are you gonna be able to say about i'm sorry keep talking over him i can't hear you dude like there's no benches in your mouth no, 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 never. Why can't you even give me? I'm asking my brother like me. I don't care. Tournaments weren't like. If this was the same people as tournaments, I'd probably play this one. Oh, wait, one of ours is. Both are on cards, both are on cards. Yeah, there's two out. Dead. And with my little wall retake edit play there, we get the win streak rolling again with now two in a row, meaning we've won 11 out of the last 12 games that we've played and progressed from Silver 3 to now Diamond 3 the final rank before the big showdown of elite and champion but this lobby is already elite level because of dalty if you didn't know the skill level of your lobby will be based on the highest ranked player on your team so with dalty being an elite that means this is an elite level lobby and is basically the hardest our lobbies will get once again because ranked reload basically just came out there's not enough players up here in elite and champion yet so we'll still get matched up with mostly diamond players with sprinkles of platinum elite champion and sometimes even some random really low ranks like silver and gold so the good news is our lobbies likely won't be getting any harder but the bad news is our lobbies are already pretty hard dalty goes down then i absolutely whiff on this easy shot sr3 falls next and now jcm is in a 1v2 clutch situation nice 1v1 and with that shot, JCM pulls off his own clutch of the day, giving us our third win in a row in our 12th out of 13 games, progressing me from 46% of Diamond 3 up to 
75%. One more win will finally put me in elite rank. So we get right back into our next game, drop at our edge of the map spot and lock in. Hit 100. Two dead, two dead, two dead, right here on the mountain. He's one. No? Okay. I'm trying, bro. Like, we got to do our own again? problems. And with my measly three elims, we were still able to take this game as a dub. And that will do it, putting me up and into elite rank and an extra 28% on top of that. Now, this has seemed like a grind to get to this point. 14 games played, 13 wins from Silver 3 to Elite, but it's actually only been less than four hours since we started. Our progress is insane right now, but we decided to take a short break for dinner, and while they did that, I was making sure I stayed warm by 1v1ing Dalty in my map. With music stations, awesome custom backgrounds, crosshairs, and a bunch of other features, this is exactly how I've been improving lately just through 1v1ing and free building while I'm bored. And if you want to use this map to improve as well, just search Carter2K in the map tab. And now that everyone's back, we were right back to our edge of the map drop, but after an early rotation into Tilted, our team got split up, and by the time we tried to run, it was over. I had nothing, and unfortunately had no way to survive the 30 seconds we needed for another reboot. So in 6th place we fall, losing for only the second time of the day. Now this game, our goal was to be a little more intense intentional about where we rotate because obviously tilted is not working for us so we loot up and get to work does anyone have does anyone have shotgun anyone uh, dead on one dead on two nice. dead on three Holy I made a mistake dropping on this wall with barely 100 HP, then Dalty falls, SR3 has shambles loot and gets taken out, and in a 1v3 with no mats, JCM falls short in second place. However, even in second place, we still gained a pretty big 14%, progress that you definitely can't be mad at. But that's now two games in a row where we can't close out a win. This is partly because the lobbies are harder, but we're also now slacking a little in our gameplay and really need to bounce back. Which is exactly what we tried to do heading into this next game. He's wrong. Where, where? Breaking, breaking your down? I have three seconds and I respawn. I'm probably gonna die out of the area. Oh, I'm gonna call for the No, too, stop. <laughs> no. But we did not get our bounce back game we were hoping for. Instead, we actually went down in fifth place, which when there's only 10 total teams in the lobby is terrible. Thankfully, it wasn't bad enough to lose progress, but the 4% gain is pretty irrelevant. We need big chunk games, especially now that we haven't won a game in quite some time. And our next game was no different. A fourth place loss for a total gain of 1%. What was once a squad who won 13 out of 14 games has now quickly turned into a squad that has lost four in a row. But this is what separates those few players that make Unreal and those many players that get stuck in Diamond Elite in Champion. It's all about perseverance and keeping a good attitude through these bad games to eventually break back out and continue gaining rank. If you just get mad and decide to W key tilted towers, chances are you're only going to lose more. So you have to stick with the plan and just try to focus in one game at a time. And that is precisely precisely what we tried to do here, but sometimes stuff just doesn't go your way. I thought maybe the team would be able to clutch this one up, but when JCM went down, Dalty was now left in a 1v3 with very shambles loot. He did all he could, but it was basically an impossible clutch, and at least this time we closed it out in second place instead of fifth, so we actually gain a little bit of real progress. Still not really what we're looking for, but now just 37% away from champion, it was nice to see some Something positive. So we're officially five games into Elite without a win, and we really wanted to get the ball rolling again. This time, we made a vow to not touch Tilted, because every game is ruining us. So pushing to retail this time, things were looking better. Bro, he just appeared. Yeah. I don't, I don't. I have, I have, uh, I have Here. Okay, 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 okay. I'm in. I'll try. Whoa. Like, dude, I can't get a better shot there. He's one of my budget ones. 
dead. And finally, we get our win we were so desperately searching for. A pretty solid one too, with nearly 30 elims, and finally we get to see how much a win in elite takes us up. 16%. Given that we got 14% for a second place, only 2% more for a win is a little disappointing, but at this point we're just happy to get back into the win column because losing is not fun. But then when we tried to do the same exact strategy in our very next game, someone watching SR3's live stream decided to be weird and try to stop us by stream sniping. That led to our worst placement yet in a terrible loss of 4%. We just lost 25% of what we gained in our win progress because of stream snipers which is so annoying and you actually can't make this up in just the very next game an entire squad saw me in the pregame island and then followed me off the bus basically skin sniping me in game thankfully they didn't know where the rest of my team was in a little bit into the game i found one of the recon experts all by themselves so i had to get my revenge which by chasing him down and piecing him up was so sweet but even later into the game we run into them again and once again they full w key into my box and even dance on me after they 3v1 we got the last laugh though after completely eliminating their squad and then going on to win this game and that was another great team win going up another 16 percent leaving me just nine percent away from champion the final rank before unreal so finally it seemed like we had found our groove again and now our only goal was to try and do the exact same thing in this game hopefully just without the stream snipers this time bro this guy wants me so bad it's insane there's a banana in the sky get him mind if i diddly do out of here diego i don't really want you I don't think I've actually ran like shit for people though. Like actually, I barely. I got headshots, man. Everything. Bro, oh, these guys shit. are Here full. We go again. These guys are keen. You away. guys can help. And what do you know, I'm getting double teamed again, which I can't seem to get away from. But in a 2v1 situation with Dalty leading the charge, of course we come out of this one with another win. And that does it, progressing me from elite to champion rank in nearly a quarter of the way to unreal. So now all that stands in my way is 76% of champion rank progress. And while it's still going to be a grind, the good news is that our lobbies aren't going to get any harder than they already are. We've already already been matched up with the best players in reload for a while now. So into my first ever champion ranked reload game, and we find ourselves back in the forbidden tilted towers and nearly pay the price. Behind you, Jason? I'm No way, they're all... Bro, he's aimbotting me. Alright, 40 dead. Where do you want? Where do you want? Oh, I just cooked this kid just to only hit a hundred. Done. I just got sniped. Oh, He's jumping, jumping, jumping me, jumping me. Get to me if you can. Hundred. Can anyone get to me? I can't. Uh, I'm pulled. <laughs> that guy actually made a super smart play, which we later on learned was actually Chaos Gaming, a very good pro player. But even against him, the rest of the squad was still able to close this one out for our first champion rank win. A great start to this rank in a gain of just 8%. Ah, this is going to be even more of a grind than I thought. But the only thing to do is hop right back into a game and get back to work. We've got progress to wow. gain. Like that. Get in the bush behind us. Probably down the air. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Then. And with me getting stuck in the box there, I go down, leaving just Dalty in a 1v3v3 situation. Now, Dalty is a pro on controller, but he's trying to switch to keyboard and mouse, so that's what he's been playing on this entire video. But he really wanted to clutch this win, so he switched back to controller and did this. Nice. 
118. One shotgun bullet. Grapple on that, maybe. Grapple on that, good. Grapple on that, good. Nice. 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 DC match, good match, good match. 24 builds. Oh my Dolby. god! After playing on keyboard and mouse for the past eight hours, Dolty picked up his controller with no warm-up and did that. I mean, he's actually insane and clutched up our now second champion rank win in a row for another 8%. I was expecting at least 12% for a win, so only getting 16% for two wins in a row is pretty disappointing. But nonetheless, that's two wins in a row, so if we keep this going, even at 8% per win, we'll be in unreal quick with these short games, so back to our edge of the map spot we go in this game was a little more messy. With almost no elims headed into endgame, the entire squad goes down except me, and after hiding to guarantee a second place, there was a full healthy trio on height, so I knew I had no chance at a real 1v3, but I had an idea. <laughs> Wait, they might. Dude, I did those lives and no one let me do this. I'm sorry, I'm sick of this. <laughs> Wait, Corner's cooking. <laughs> One build. One build. Nice. Wait. Nice card. No. Wait, chill. One v one. One v one. Be insane for the video. This will be insane for content. work taking out one player in the 1v1 then winning against the second player there was only going to be one left and he took the cowardly way out by chopping us down which i wasn't able to survive it was a fun try but our lack of elims meant that for our second place finish we only gained three percent so headed into this next game we knew that we had to get a win if we want any real progress here Ben? Ben? Cracked 105. Anyway. Mm. Cracked one of them? Cracked one of the ben. And finally, we get an easy win where the entire squad is alive to finish the game out. And that gives me the biggest champion gain so far. 9%. I mean, we're winning games, but this progress is brutal. At this point, it's been nearly 9 hours straight of playing Fortnite and approaching 1am, so JCM understandably had to get off. But with us now being less than 50% away and playing pretty well, we knew that if we picked up another good player, we could hit Unreal tonight. So we got Tez. In place of JCM, we took the exact same landing spot and did our exact same game plan and tried to replicate our exact same winning form. Formula. Uh, okay. Oh, what is? Good. Are you? Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna build a pile of gears. I apologize. Wait. Oh, oh. Wanted. Dead. Forty. Dead. Dead. Forty-four. Dead. 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 Sixty-six. Sixty-six. Oh, this is, uh, this is the team from the other game. There's 20. Uh, cracked one? Yeah. 
And we did just that, closing in another champion rank win and this time actually seeing solid progress with a gain of 11%. And right back into our next game we go. If you couldn't tell, the reason champion rank is so hard and so many players get stuck here every season isn't because the players are too good. It's more about just how slow the progress is. I mean, you have all seen it. The 8% gain for a 30 bomb win, the 3% gain for a second place. It takes hours of playing nearly perfect just to progress through this one rank and a lot of players just don't have the patience especially if you lose off spawn and drop three to four percent which is literally half of a win it is just a slow grind but when you're playing well like we are here it can definitely be fun as well 30 wow did this rush just he's one that guy's one Bro, I'm getting jumped. I need help. Carter's getting manhandled. Oh, 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 how do you get in my box? And our new teammate, Tez, is the one to close out that game for us, giving us our third win in a row in champion rank and actually our fifth win out of six games played. We were dominating champion rank, yet still, even after the biggest gain so far of 12%, I remain 25% away. If you were a normal person, you'd probably just split this grind up into multiple days or even multiple weeks of playing one to two hours at a time. But this is a speed run. So now in our ninth hour of Fortnite, we drop back into yet another lobby, officially in our home stretch of the final 25%. But this is where they want you to fail. They want you to get lackadaisical and start losing off spawn and slowly lose your mind. But you just have to ease the pressure down and lock in exactly like this. All in like, I think yeah, I don't have Okay. I'm really dead. Wait, reboot. I'm not done. gonna build behind me. Oh, the top's shot. Are you doing 60? 68 fall damage on that guy. I right under you guys, right there. I know he was. Bro. God. Well, we were locked in, but so was this kid's aim because he literally sniped all of us. However, because we had 24 elims, I still gained a nice 4%, which for third place honestly isn't bad. Obviously, we want to win, but that could have easily been a 1% gain, so I'm not going to complain. Now just 21% away from Unreal, all we need is a couple more good games into not sell. That's the key. Don't sell. He's one. Uh, there's a, there's a I did it again. Huh. 91. And we sold. Kind of. It was more just an unlucky game, but that takes us out in now fifth place, which did go ahead and give us a 0% gain. And that just goes to show the power of momentum. Momentum affects literally everything, but it even applies to ranked Fortnite. When you're winning, you can get in your zone and go on long streaks of great games like we've done multiple times in this video. But you can also go on bad game streaks where regardless of what you do, stuff just doesn't go your way. And that's also happened in this video. One of the times being right now. We're so close to Unreal, but we just can't catch a break here. Going down in third place once again for a whopping 1% gain. But the only people capable of turning our luck around is us. So we trekked on looking for our bounce back game, which this could be. <laughs> Gold combat over here. SF3 was not kidding on the third base. I can just literally farm these two. I'm pretty sure it's on here. I'm going to be I'm back. 180. Oh, dude. Nice. Give me a, give me a, give me a. Nice. Guys, I sold. And back to the 40 bomb win column we go. That was our best champion ranked game yet and should give us the highest percent so far but we get 10% instead. I don't understand how that works, but that puts just a measly 10% between me and hitting Reload Unreal for the first time ever. 10% is one win with some elim. So dropping back into our same drop, we were going for it. I'm in the shot. Oh, you gotta pop out and show, homie. 
And now, with Tez going down, I was put in a clutch situation to hit Unreal after 10 hours of grinding. Oh, it's a one I think this team might lose you guys. Wait. Wait. Wait, Wait, no! And I mean, yeah, it was a 1v4, what do you expect? But this time, a second place gave me 6% of progress, so now we officially don't even need a win to hit Unreal, being just 4% away. So dropping in for what is potentially the last time, a win was the only way we wanted to close this out. Brutus. Help me still, help me still. Oh God, I just got I'm trying to look for the last one right now. Dead on one. Alright, now we definitely can't die. Now we just play cricket. In here. 31. Another one in here? 32. Dead? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. 20? 40? Dead. How many are we going to be bringing in? 10. 10. Yeah, I don't think we killed the switch. Yeah, that's No, that's the swear guy right there, that's the swear guy. That's the swear guy right there, that's the swear guy. Right in that box, I just headshot the... 30, 60, I'm coming. Yeah! And a win is what we got. From unranked all the way up to unreal in Fortnite Reload. Number 276, among the first in the world to reach this mark in doing it in just 10 total hours of playing in one single day. This was a grind, so please subscribe and use my map to free build or 1v1 your friends by searching Carter2K in the map tab. Thank you all so much for watching.